Instead of you watching 100 plus more videos on how to trade, let me just show you the five steps that I take every single day before I start trading. These five steps are crucial, and honestly, they may lead you to your first $10,000 a month if you follow these steps properly. And that's why I made this video so you can make 2023 the best year of your life yet. What you can do at this point in time is hit that like button because it helps my channel grow tremendously. And one of my goals for 2023 is to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you guys can make that happen, that would be amazing. But without further ado, let's get into my computer and I'll show you these five crucial steps. Before we get started, this is my new website. It is officially out with all my up-to-date products. FX University is now $97. That is a one-time fee. This is my top Forex course. Great for any beginner trader. If you want to trade live with me every day and learn how to trade US 30, I do have the live trading now open. And for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you have to go here to click get started and you're going to have to book a call with me. Now, the first thing that I do when I start trading is I go and check the fundamental side of things. I want to see if there's any news, anything that is going to impact the markets in a positive or negative way. So I use forexfactory.com for this. And once you guys get here, there's this little filter where you can change it to whatever you want. I would recommend only having the red box on this um, delegates high impact news. And then all the event types are fine. For the currencies, I only have USD because all I trade is US30. I don't focus on any other pairs. Now, let's, once we do that, we're going to click apply filter. Now, it will show us all the news events that are up and coming. So, we can see Monday, January 2nd, the markets are going to be closed. January or January 3rd, Tuesday, we're not going to have any news. But Wednesday at 10 a.m., we have news on ISM, JOLTS, and FOMC. I personally don't trade FOMC. Luckily, FOMC usually follows, falls on a Wednesday, so that's absolutely perfect because I don't ever trade Wednesdays. Now, we do also have January 5th, this Thursday, we have news at 8.15 a.m. We have ADP non-farm employment change. Now, I am going to be a little cautious of that. I will be trading at 6.30, so if I see that the volume is low, meaning that there aren't any big moves happening at the market open that most likely means that the volume is being withheld for this news event right here so i'm going to keep my eye on this on thursday and what i usually do is i if i want to see like when the next news event is going to occur or i want to be reminded of news it's always smart to go to your reminders on your phone and set a reminder so you know okay i have this news event at this time and on this date, I know not to trade. Like on Friday, we have non-farm employment change. I don't ever trade non-farm employment. It's just a really big news event. And if you guys do not know, let me explain something to you guys about news. There's something called slippage. So let's say that this right here is a news event. It shoots up. So I'm going to delegate this or show you guys this. Let's say I enter a cell right here at this yellow line and I have my stop loss right up here and my take profit is down here. Now, if I enter a cell right here and news shoots up, a lot of the time when news comes out, it will hit our stop loss, but it will not close the trade. So if you have your stop loss right here at, let's see how many pips, 346 pips, it may miss that stop loss and close your trade with like a thousand pip loss. So you have to be very cautious about slippage when it comes to trading. You guys don't want to be blowing your account or anything. So when it comes to trading news, I usually just stay away from the markets. It's the smarter thing to do. So if you guys want to figure out like what's possibly going to happen with this news event, you can go right here and you can actually see the history. So if you really want to get be smart about your trading, you should go through these news events and look at the history. Go to the date and the time that they had that news previously and see how big of an effect that it had on the market. Luckily, I love that I trade at 6.30 a.m. because a lot of these news events are never at 6.30 a.m. So it works in my favor. Now let's go to step two on what I do. Now I'm going to keep it real with you. Timing is everything when it comes to trading you want to be in the markets when the money is being 
fluctuated in or out of the market. So with US 30, the market open is at 6.30 a.m. That's when the big dogs, the hedge funds, the banks, the market makers are entering the market with their money. And that's why at 6.30 a.m., if you go back and look, that's why all these moves are happening at 6.30 a.m. because that's when the money's being fluctuated. So you want to figure out if you trade a different currency like GBP, JPY, the London session is probably the time to trade. If you're trading pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, the New York session is probably the time to trade. So really figure out like what are the right times for me to trade? And it's as simple as just going back in time and seeing where the moves happening. You can see during the Asia session, there are very small moves, practically no moves at all compared to the New York session. So figure out when is the right time for me to be trading the currency pair that I trade. And guys, if you're a smart individual, you're gonna watch my videos and just copy and replicate exactly what I'm telling you. A lot of you have a hard time learning and that's because you're trying to do it on your own. Just replicate what I'm sharing with you right now. That's why you're watching this video. Let's go to step three. Now step three, what I do is a top down analysis, meaning that I go from higher time frames down to lower time frames. And a lot of the time, I'm just looking at the previous daily candle to see how that candle closed to really give me confirmation. So let's look right back here. We have this spinning top candle. It rejected our 20 e or a 66 EMA right here and closed bullish. So on this day, Wednesday, December 21st, I would have looked at the previous daily candle and went, all right, we have a spinning top that's showing us that there's probably gonna be a reversal. It's most likely gonna push up. So on the daily time frame, I am bullish. Then I would go to the four hour time frame and let's go back to that Wednesday. So here's that Wednesday right here. I'm looking at this 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. candle. And I'm saying to myself, do you know what? It's a spinning top two. We're rejecting our 20 EMA. I'm looking bullish on the four hour. Then I go to the one hour. Let's go back to that Wednesday. So I'm looking at that one hour candle, the 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. candle. I'm saying, okay, it's bullish. Then I go to the minute 15, the minute five, and I look at the market open candle, the one that closes right at 6.30. I'm like, all right, how is this candle gonna close? Because all the other higher time frames with better data is telling me it's bullish. I need to see some type of bullish candle to close at 6.30 a.m. to really give me my entry. So I'm looking at the higher time frames for that confirmation, and then I'm entering my trade on a lower time frame once I see that confirmation candle or setup. Very, very simple and easy to do. Step four, we need to set up our trade with our stop loss and our take profit. So let's just go to our previous day right here, and let's pretend like we're in real time. Okay, looking at the market, I'm like, okay, we're dropping lower and lower. I think that it's gonna be a good sell. So what I'm gonna do is go right here, get my longer short position. Sell is for short, buy is for long. So I'm gonna go short. I'm gonna have my stops like right above this resistance over here. And for my TP, I'm gonna just go for like a thousand pips. So now I have my trade set. These are the parameters that I'm gonna enter on MetaTrader 4 for my stop loss, 33, 115 for my stop loss. Take profit, 32,954 for my take profit. I set those on MetaTrader 4, boom. Here's a hack. Usually what I do when I enter the markets is I will enter my trade, my buy or sell right at the market open a couple seconds before 6.30. And then once I do that, because I wanna get the best entry, right at 6.30 the market's skyrocketing immediately. Once I have entered my buy or sell, then I'll put my stop loss and take profit. I'm not sitting there saying, do you know what? I'm gonna buy it. Let me enter my stop loss and my take profit at like 631 because a lot can happen in one minute. So a lot of the time at the market open, I'm just like, boom, I'm entering my buy or sell and then I'm gonna adjust my take profit and stop loss. Now let's see, we have our trade set, boom, boom, TP hit, cool. Now we're out of the trade. Now let's go to the next step that is absolutely in important and so crucial to your success. Now I'm gonna exit out of the replay mode so we can use this feature. 
On TradingView, they have an alert tab right here. So you can create an alert. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the first alert for my stop loss, 33115. And then I'm gonna go right here to text. And I'm gonna have US 30 hit stop loss, create. Now I have an alert right here set. I don't have to stare at the markets like a freaking lunatic and waste all the time in my day hoping that the market does its thing. I'm just going to set my alert on my stop loss. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my TP. Okay, so I'm going to get these numbers. 329, 329, 54. And I'm going to put US 30, hit TP. Great. Now on these alerts, if I go to edit, you guys can see that you can have it, the notifications right here, you can have it notified on the app, show a pop-up, send you an email, webhook, play a sound, send email to SMS, whatever you guys want. It's amazing to have this feature. So I don't have to stare at my charts. I set my trade with my take profit and stop loss. I put my alert and I forget it. I go about my day because I know once my trade hits my take profit, I'm gonna get alert on this phone right here. I'm like, oh cool, my trade hit my take profit. Let me go check MetaTrader 4 now. Awesome. That's how you guys should be trading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on these five steps that I shared with you. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.